A quick update for you today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. This is Kevin. Well, we've been so busy in the garden and with uh, animals and everything else around the homestead that I feel like we haven't given you guys an update in a while on how our new guinea hens are doing and on how the pigs are coming along. Um, I've showed you a little bit about the pigs in some of our videos, but uh, not really an update on how they're doing. So uh, today I'm going to take you in. First, we're going to look at the guinea hens. Uh, I believe they're about five weeks old now. And then we'll go down and I've got some good veggies to give to the pig. So let's go check on the guineas. So if you remember in the video that we did when we first got the guineas, uh, which was about a month ago, uh, we started raising them in the house uh, in uh, actually this uh, Tupperware container back here. Um, but uh, that didn't last real long. I think we kept them in the house for about a week. Uh, they like to be up all night, uh, probably because we had a light on them at that time. And uh, they were noisy and they were starting to get stinky. So we moved them out here to one of our barns. Uh, but I moved them into this cage um, and they've, they've been in here ever since. Uh, so they are five weeks old now um, and uh, they, they seem to be growing really well. Uh, they, they, you know, they're, they're getting big. They're starting to look a lot more like guineas and uh, le less like, you know, just baby chicks. Uh, so uh, uh, in a, probably about another week, um, I'll be uh, letting them out of this cage and let them have this whole room here in the barn. Uh, but I need to figure out uh, either make some type of screen door or something on this uh, part of the barn because I can tell you already that they are amazing jumpers and flyers even at this age. So I need to figure out a way to uh, you know give them the air circulation that they need to stay cool enough in here uh, but to also uh, keep them safe. So um, that's where they're at right now. I did build them a new uh, feeder down here uh, so they're making a little bit less of a mess. Uh, we still have them on a 24% uh, game bird ration. Uh, we'll use up one bag of that and then we'll switch them down to an 18%. Um, and then uh, hopefully uh, by the time that bag is gone, we'll just be able to let them go outside. And, uh, you know, we really won't have to feed them a whole lot, I'm hoping. So uh, that's it with these guys. They seem to be doing well. We haven't lost any. So uh, let's take a walk down to the other end of the property and we'll check on the pigs. All right, I think it's nap time for the pigs. It's the middle of the day, it is hot. We're under a heat advisory. Uh, I just went and picked the kids up from the bus stop and it said that it was 96 according to my car. And it is hot and humid and sticky. But I brought them down some cucumbers which they seem to really like. So let me see if I can call them out. Uh, you remember when we got them, they weren't very tame. They're getting better. Uh, they'll let me pet them a little bit now, but they still uh, are not, you know, they're not my best friend yet, but they're getting there. They're getting better. So let's see if we can call them out and see if we can get them to eat some cucumbers here. Come here, pigs. Come here, pigs. Come here, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on. Come on. Come on, pigs. Hi guys. Hi guys. Oh, time to take a swim in the pool. I don't blame them. Except I don't think I want to swim in that pool. So if you remember, we got these guys, uh, I think about a month ago, and um, they are Duroc Hampshire Crosses. Uh, we're raising them uh, strictly for meat. Uh, we're not going to be breeding them. Uh, we have two females and a male. And uh, we plan on, uh, you know, getting these guys to about 300 pounds and then putting them in the freezer. Uh, I'm excited because this is the first time uh, that I'm going to be uh, processing pigs myself. Uh, we've raised pigs several times in the past, uh, but I've always taken them to a processor. Uh, but I feel like at this point I've processed enough animals, uh, big and small, uh, that I have the confidence to do it. Uh, so this time we're going to save some money. I'm going to do all the processing myself. Um, you know, it'll, it'll save a lot uh, by being able to do that. 
uh, we can raise these guys uh, pretty cheaply, uh, especially if we're getting lots of good free veggies. Uh, we've got neighbors uh, who are giving us veggies. Uh, these cucumbers actually came from one of our neighbors. They called up and said, hey, we've got these you know, veggies that we've picked that uh, we're not going to use. Do you guys want them for your pigs? So uh, that's definitely a way to be able to uh, cut some costs when you're raising animals is to network with uh, people around you. But uh, they're doing good. I'm amazed every day what they uh, dig up here in their pan. You can see they just dug up a soda can. So far they haven't found us anything valuable, but hopefully they do. So that's it, uh, you guys. Uh, you can see they're doing well, but they want to go back and take another nap. So that's uh, just a quick update for you today on how some of the new animals are doing on the homestead. Uh, just like us, they're just trying to do their best to survive this hot weather right now. Uh, you guys, if this is your first time uh, to our homestead, uh, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, if you're one of our traditionalists who comes back and watches us five days a week for all of our new videos, we sure do appreciate it. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.